Was your family like, like every family like, trying to go. get you away from it? Like every family gone go against the period. But then some families be like, you know what I mean? Like that's your life. You know what you up against, and you know it's death, jail. Don't call me. Don't look for me to do nothing, et cetera, et cetera. That's like a black person family. So I was speaking from a black family, which is my family. So they not telling me to go do this and you can go do it. But if that's what you want to go do, because I can't stop you and I can't be with you 24 seven, these are your options. You're going to be dead. You're going to be in jail. And if you be in jail, don't call my phone because I went with you running out there doing what you was doing and stealing, robbing, et cetera, et cetera. So don't call me. Call whoever you was with. How I'm going to call him and we both in jail. So basically what she's saying, you're going to be in there. Make your mind up. Period. It's How can't control. you not be from it? What we trying to say, but you have your your own thought, your own mindset. So you can, you know, it's people out there that's lawyers, that's from Compton. People out here this, you see tennis players, woo, -woo but they fed was game bangers. They people did this and they seen it every day, but they chose just to go to school and really stick on that road and I'm gonna be successful. And the other half of the family did this, so you got options. You can do what you want to do, and I chose to do this, but. I kind of came up knowing like I ain't want to do this forever and I got to make a way out. So after high school, I said what I'm going to do. And that's when I started really rapping, taking it serious and stick, sticking to my craft, you feel me? Still in the streets, but sticking to my craft to where it's going to stand out and I'm going to be separated from just a gang member or them that storm in that certain box, you hear me? <clears throat> Definitely. Now, as you're growing up, you're going through a lot of things. What do you think was one of the most wildest things you've seen in Compton? I mean, shit, I feel from really shooting it out with people, you see what I'm saying? Like really broad daylight, I'm talking about like they shooting at you, you shooting at them, like you driving your car, they driving your car, you chasing them, they chasing you, like, like really broad daylight. People looking at you, the bus running, people walking, people sitting at the bus, they probably recording you on the phone, they telling their people, like that's wow. And it's like, that's the life a, a, a person like me was living at a certain time. And it's like, dang, so I had to slow down, you feel me? So I got my mind right, you see what I'm saying? Certain things in life I did, I paid for, but I'm blessed. I'm, 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 I'm on another um, life now, you feel me? Straight up. I hear that. You went to Compton High? Yeah, I did. What was that like for you? Um, it was rough, bro. You got to think, like, I'm a dime move, you feel me? So... Being a blood, being a pyro, going to a crib school, it ain't cool. So Com Compton High is a, is a crib, crib school. school. You feel me? So me, my neighborhood is behind Compton High. On the opposite, on a, on a, you got the main block is Compton Boulevard. So on one side of Compton Boulevard, that's where the crib at, and on the crib side, that's the crib school. I'm on the opposite side of Compton Boulevard, which is the blood side, the pyro side. That's my side. So I had to walk from my hood, cross over into there they section and walk to school. You know, you got niggas banging on you, you feel me? You got fights, you see what I'm saying? People pulling guns and you gotta have your homies come and beat you and pick you up. I was just going through all type of things. But when you a certain person coming up, you know certain people. So they ain't always beefing with you, but it's certain Chris gonna beef with you. So it was cool for me to go there, but I had tension because people, don't, they don't like that I'm a blood. But it was certain Chris that had my back, like, hey, cuz, don't trip. I got you, don't trip. They ain't gonna do nothing. Woo. -woo. You can't depend on that, cuz, like, bro, they gonna get your ass one of these days. But in reality, that's how I was able to stay that one year. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So I went through my little fights and didn't go to school one day, ditching a lot of days, and still graduated on time, but went through my little, my little bullshit, cuz I chose to go to that school, and my mom and them thought it was a joke. You see what I'm saying? So. I had to just switch my addresses and go to a blood school. And I did that, Centennial. Got kicked out of there, run into my enemies. Now I go live with my grandma. I go to a whole new school, Morningside High School in Inglewood, California. And from there, I'm kind of mellow now. I'm, I'm even-headed, I can chill a little bit. But your antennas, your guard's still up, but you can cool it. And I graduated and, you know what I mean? Now I'm slim 400, period. What do you do after you graduate? <laughs> Shit. Still in the streets, but I'm in the studio every other day. You see what I'm saying? And working on my craft, bro. Like, just trying to do videos now. Trying to meet up with different peoples and promoters and doing shows and selling tickets. You see what I'm saying? Like, 
making CDs and put my name on the top and handing them out back in the day. Like, you're going to listen to my music because now I'm on my, on my hustle now, you feel me?